Don't you love new bike day? Well today kind of feels like that, but not quite. My trusty salsa cutthroat Sonny has been feeling pretty tired lately after many relentless years of devoted service. I've secretly or maybe not so secretly been dreaming of retiring her and adding a new bike to the quiver. Especially with the spring weather coming around and the dirt drying up around here. But as some of you may know, I just got a new fat bike earlier in the winter, so another new bike just isn't in the cards right now. I'm sure many of you can relate. One of my favorite bike quotes of all time comes from Eddie Merckx. Don't buy upgrades, ride upgrades. Normally that's how I feel. Just get out there and ride. But there's nothing wrong with treating yourself and your bike to some new stuff once in a while. Am I right? So I decided to upgrade and refresh Sunny as best I could on a lean and mean budget. I serviced and cleaned some bits, I sold some old stuff and bought some new stuff, and what do you know, I've got a fresh bike ready for many more moons of service. So without further ado, here's how I breathed some new life into my old bike without completely shattering the bank. Let's start by diving into my biggest upgrade, the drivetrain. Actually first, I got some new handlebars. I've enjoyed my Carbon Easton EC70s for a while. Mine were size 44, which served me great, but I always wished they were a tad bit wider. Guess what? They started offering a 46, so I kept my eyes peeled looking for some on sale. When I found them, I pounced, and I promptly sold my used 44s. I only wound up paying about 40 bucks out of pocket. Score. Back to the drivetrain. Luckily, Sunny was already rocking a very high-end SRAM 1x11. This included a force shifter and brake lever setup, along with an EXO cassette and a Wolftooth GCX 46 tooth upgrade. I already talk about this in detail in another video, so if you're curious, I'll put a link below. My 10 to 46 cassette served me fine. But who wouldn't want a little more granny for the climbs, and a little more top end for the flats and descents, especially if it's an easy and cheap swap. So I upgraded to a 1x12 drivetrain using the super popular ratio kit. For a second I considered going to a wide range 2x setup like Shimano GRX. Don't get me wrong, this would have been awesome. But bang for the buck, this was the way to go. I already had a force shifter and brake levers. Long story short, I sold my old cassette and derailleur on eBay. That reminds me I can also sell my backup 11 speed chains now as well. Anywho, I used that money to offset the cost of the ratio kit, as well as a SRAM XO1052 cassette and a GX 12-speed derailleur. I already had a 12-speed chain lying around, so that helped. I also sold some random bike parts I had lying around to further subsidize the cost of the upgrade. If you're unfamiliar with the ratio kit, it basically converts your 11-speed into a 12-speed. It achieves this by swapping the ratchet on your shifter and the cable fin on your rear derailleur. I'll do an in-depth review as soon as I've got some serious mileage on it, but so far so good. I've heard nothing but good things from friends and colleagues who've already made the swap, so I expect it to be great. So practically speaking, I've transitioned from an 11 speed 1046 to a 12 speed 1052. This currently gives me six extra teeth of granny gear. If you're wondering, I had a pretty new 32 tooth chain ring lying around collecting dust from an older build, so I put it on the bike. And yes, I know a 32 sounds pretty small, but I do a lot of heavily loaded bikepacking on it. So I'll ride it like this for a bit, but I eventually will go to a 34 or 36 tooth for a little more top end. And I will definitely go back to an oval, and it'll most likely be an absolute black. While I was swapping out cassettes, I took the opportunity to switch out all of the bearings in my Industry 9 Torch rear hub. I like that i9s are super easy to service, and with routine maintenance, they last forever. This one was due for some attention, and now it's back to spinning so fresh and so clean clean. 40 bucks well spent. And if you're wondering about the front hub, it's an SP Dynamo, so I can't service it. I just clean and check it regularly. With my shifter opened for the ratio ratchet upgrade, I had the perfect opportunity to slide in a new shift cable and some fresh housing. This is another frugal and super easy way to get your bike shifting and feeling like new. Before putting my wheels back on, I took the opportunity to bleed the brakes, which were also in need of some TLC. I honestly can't remember the last time I ran new fluid through them. With the pads out, I gave them a look-see and realized they were pretty worn out as well. So boom, I popped in some freshies, and now my brake system is dialed. Next up, one of my favorites for breathing new life into a bike, bar tape. I had some Physic Bar Gel at the ready, which I love for dampening vibration, so I slapped that on first. Then I wrapped everything up with some Lizard Skin's 2.5mm DSP bar tape. If you've seen my other videos, then you know how much I enjoy the combo of Physic Bar Gel and DSP tape. I guess the black and pink tape wasn't doing so well since I found it for super cheap on eBay, and I swooped it up. I find that new bar tape or grips helps with my psyche and goes a long way to revitalizing a bike. Soaking tires. It's always nice to start spring with some fresh tread. As much as I like to try new stuff, I'm also a creature of habit when I find something I love. I've tried pretty much every tire under the sun. But for Sunny, I always go back to Continental Race Kings. They have great sidewall protection while remaining lightweight, and they're fast rolling with ample traction. They've been my go-to for many years, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Luckily for me, there's newer tires that are way more in fashion these days, so usually I can find them pretty cheap. 
I wound up getting a brand new pair for 80 bucks, including shipping on eBay. I popped them on and added some fresh tubeless scoop from Orange Seal. Super stoked, Sonny's got a new set of shoes. The armrest on my aero bars has been chipped and broken for a while now, I've just been too lazy to fix it. Even though the crack slowly keeps growing. I finally broke down and decided to order the part from Sintasi. Luckily it only cost about 15 bucks, including shipping and handling all the way from Germany. If I would have known it was going to be this cheap, I would have done it sooner. I've now had Sunny for over 4 years and I haven't had to touch the Cane Creek 40 headset other than routine cleaning and greasing. It's been absolutely bomber over thousands and thousands of miles. But I recently road tripped across the country with my family and we hit some horrendous rainstorms. We were on the way to North Carolina where we were living near the beach in Wilmington. I guess some water got in there during the drive and living the salty life for a few months didn't help either. I started noticing some friction but I held off servicing it till I got home to Idaho. By this time it was pretty much seized and the bearings were too far gone to flush out and regrease. So tack on some new headset bearings for 30 bucks and she's back to being smooth as a baby's butt. My headset issues got me nervous about the bottom bracket so I decided to give it some extra loving as well. My Chris King BB is stellar and I wouldn't dream of replacing it. But the bearings were starting to feel a little crunchy, nowhere near as bad as the headset, but still worth servicing. I like using the Chris King Silver Grease, and once in a while I go all out and install new seals and snap rings. These set me back 10 bucks, and the grease costs 12, and my bearings feel as good as they did 4 years ago. Smooth like a baby's butt. Other than all that, I just use some time and energy to give Sunny a nice deep clean. This also provides an opportunity to check for cracks and frame damage, luckily nothing exciting to report. I greased and retorqued everything to spec, and now Sunny is just begging to be ridden. If you're having trouble motivating to ride an older bike, I hope this video inspires you to wash it and service it and maybe throw on a few new parts and then get out there and ride. Both your mind and body deserve it, and so does your bike. It's hard to say, but with all the bargain shopping and slanging my old stuff to buy new, I'm probably out of pocket about three to four hundred bucks and then some elbow grease. More importantly, Sunny is ready to serve for many more miles. So I'm going to end on that note and go take her for a pseudo maiden voyage. Since you've made it this far, please give us a like and don't be shy, leave any of your questions and comments down below. I upload fresh bike packing and mountain biking content every week, so please consider subscribing to the channel and tapping the notification bell. I also hope you'll think about joining our Trail Magic Monday campaign of giving on Patreon. Until next time, ride bikes, give back, pit forward. Thanks so much for squeezing dirty teeth into your busy schedule. Please help us reach more people and ensure you receive new videos by giving this video a like, subscribing to the channel, and clicking the notification bell. Until next time, ride bikes, give back, pay it forward.